Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. My name is Dr. Saira Dar um, and I've been asked by Amina, the Muslim Women's Resource Centre, to share some tips with you on how I am staying positive and taking care of myself uh, during the current situation. So I'm going to share two tips with you and these are things that I do uh, almost on a daily basis to keep myself going. Number one tip, I start the day with a little bit of exercise really hard to do it it's sometimes really difficult when you're just feeling really tired in the morning or you've had a bad night and um, but what I've done is I've made my kids start the day with the body coach Joel Wicks PE session that starts at nine o'clock and because they're doing it I have to do it so that's the deal and I guarantee you just even 15 minutes of just getting your heartbeat up getting the your that blood pumping around your body will energize you and really get you started so even if you're feeling really sluggish feeling a little bit down i promise you 15 minutes of that 20 minutes if you can make do that will really get you energized and just ready to start the day with a positive vibe tip number two and again this is something i do almost on a daily basis i find this really important now we've been saying to a lot of people uh, make sure you stay connected via facetime and uh, so you're seeing your family and friends but if you're already living with your family sometimes it does get too much okay so especially parents out there or just if you're living in an extended family you need a bit of time to disconnect so my suggestion would be to, for you to find a spot in your house and just 10 minutes is all you need to do this and if you're in a shared space, you'll just get people out of one particular room. Just have one chair, one even on your bed, wherever that is, a place where you can just have 10 minutes to yourself. So find that spot. For me, this is exactly where I am. This is my spot. Um, and then you want to get yourself a nice drink, whether that's a hot drink, cup of tea, a green tea, whatever it is that you find soothing. So find something soothing, maybe a nice cosy blanket, something to soothe you. So you've got that quiet space, you've got something to soothe you, something that maybe triggers a wee bit of joy. I love my scented candles, so I put my candle on. And then spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes more if you can do that, just doing whatever you want to do, whether that's reading a book, listening to some music. But the whole point is that you're disconnecting and you're just conscious of that empty space around you just to re-energise, refocus, rebalance. That's really important. So just as it's important to connect with people, it's really important to also disconnect and be conscious of your space and that your own energy and what's around you. So spend a little bit of time reading, immerse yourself in a book, just maybe just reflect, listen to some music, just take some time out and remember that you're not just a mum, you're not just a wife, you're not all those relationships, you're not your job, you are you. And that 10 minutes of your time, peace and quiet, reminds you of that. So always remember to disconnect. And I'm really lucky I've got this fabulous view, which I'm going to share with you. To look out to. And that also keeps me really positive. So a couple of tips for me. Stay well, stay healthy.